1953, a storm of opposition was raised by the non-Ahmadi ulamas against uh, the Ahmadiyya community, demanding that the Ahmadiyya community should be declared a non-Muslim minority in Pakistan. Th hundreds of Ahmadi houses were burned, many uh, were martyred, and these were very difficult times for the Ahmadis in Pakistan. Hazrat Mirza Nasser Masahib, who later became Khalifatul Masidi III, was the principal of TA College Lahore. I was also a student in those days in Lahore and I witnessed all those things uh, with my own eyes. In May 1953, uh, the government decided to arrest uh, some of the top uh, Ahmadis. Hadrat uh, Mirza Nasser Ahmad Sahib was uh, at his uh, residence in Lahore when uh, uh, around uh, 4 o'clock in the morning uh, an army officer knocked at his door and uh, Hadrat Sahib came out of his uh, residence uh, and the officer said to him that I have uh, warrants of arrest for you. So Hadrat Mirza Nasser Ahmad Sahib uh, told him to wait for a few minutes so that he can finish his Fajr prayer and then he will go with him. And then with a smile on his face he said, uh, I was waiting for you because I knew that you were coming, which means that uh, God had already informed him that he was going to be arrested uh, that morning. So they took him to Lahore uh, jail. Uh, a case uh, was lodged against him uh, in which he was imp uh, given the sentence of five years uh, imprisonment. In November 1954, he was appointed president of Majlis Ansarullah. During his tenure as president, he infused a new life into the organization. In May 1955, he served as the president of the Sadr Anjuman Ahmadiyya, which office, though honorary, involved the discharge of heavy responsibilities at the center of the organizational pattern of the movement. He carried out the arduous responsibilities of the president diligently, remaining in this position until his election as the Khalifa ten years later. Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi II passed away at 2 a.m. on the 8th of November 1965. The members of the community converged in large numbers upon Rabwa. The election of the third caliph took place and that happened on 8th of November 1965 and the venue was Masjid Mubarak in Rabwa and the time was 7.30 in the evening after the Isha prayer. The meeting was presided by Hadrat Mirza Aziza Masaib, who was at that time the Nazriyala of Sadr Anjman Ahmadiyya, uh, Pakistan. He presided over the session, and in that meeting, according to these rules and regulations, the election took place. So following these rules and regulations, when the proceeding of the meeting conducted in uh, Masjid Mubarak, through this meeting, Alhamdulillah, that the name of Hadrat Sahib Zada Mirza Nasser Ahmad Sahib was presented, and all members of uh, the Electoral College, they unanimously agreed on that one, and he was uh, in that way elected as the third successor of the Promised Messiah, alayhi salatu waslam. Uh, naturally, those people who were extremely, uh, extremely grieved at the passing away of Hadrat Muslim Aud ta'ala anhu. By the grace of Allah, once again, the life came back to those people and they were quite happy and satisfied and full of gratitude that once again, the whole Ahmadiyya Muslim community was again united at the hand of Khalifatul Masih. The college met in a deeply prayerful mood and Sahib Zada Mirza Nasir Ahmad Sahib, eldest son of the departed Khalifatul Masih, was elected Khalifa Tulmasi III by an overwhelming majority of the Electoral College. All the members of the Electoral College entered afresh into covenant of allegiance on his blessed hand. He made a brief address, and then all those who were outside of the Masjid Mubarak, numbering well over 5,000, took the oath of allegiance. As soon as the choice of the Electoral College became known, it was universally felt as if comfort and consolation were descending upon every heart from heaven. On the 9th of November at 4.30 p.m. at the Bahishti Makbara, Rabwa, 
the funeral led by the newly elected Khalifa was a deeply moving experience for everyone. Hazrat Mirza Nasir Ahmed Sahib, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, was serving the Jamaat as the principal of Talimul Islam College, Rabwa, before he was elected as Khalifatul Masih. When he was elected as Khalifatul Masih, he was 56 years old at that time. The most poignant tragedy of his revered father's death was faced by him when he was elected as Khalifatul Masih III. His father, Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad, Khalifatul Masih II, Al Musrahul Maud, Radi Allahu Anhu, had passed away. But he proved to be a wonderful source of comfort, satisfaction, and consolation to all the members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat all over the world, not only for that time, but also through the series of crises the Jamaat e Ahmadiyya faced in the future at different times during his Khilafat. The blessed period of his Khilafat lasted for 17 years. From the beginning of his Khilafat, he showed proof of great zeal and drive in the pursuit of the objectives of the movement. On 17th of December 1965, uh, Huzur Rahimahu Ta'ala's first year of his Khilafat initiated the very first project of his Khilafat uh, where he proposed that a network of food banks be created whereby no member of the community should ever go hungry. He also exhorted the members of the community to refrain from all kinds of un-Islamic rituals. The initiative was very successful. One of the most important projects which was also initiated during the early days of his Khilafat was the setting up of the fazl e -Umal Foundation in memory of Hazrat Khalifa Tulmisi II on the 21st of December 1965. Before his birth, Hazrat Masih made a prophecy which is a very famous prophecy of Muslim Aoud in which he said that God will give him a son uh, who will lead the nations and who will uh, be a great man and he will make, uh, he will be a nation builder. So we believe that Hazrat uh, Mirza Mahmud Ahmad Sahib Khalifatul Masih II Razillah Ta'ala Anho was the Muslim Aoud. Uh, when he died, uh, it was decided that a foundation should be set up uh, which should carry on with the work uh, that Hazrat Khalifatul Masih did in his own lifetime. The first project was to write uh, a biography of the life of Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II Ta'ala Anho. The first part of it was done by Hazrat Mr. Tahir Masahib uh, which has already been published. There are various other projects uh, which uh, are uh, being done by the Fazli Umar Foundation uh, these days and it has done a lot of work. There are scholarships that are being given by Fazli Umar Foundation for students to go abroad and uh, study. So it's a vast uh, scheme uh, and uh, it, by, by the grace of God uh, they are doing a very, very good job. A new building was constructed for the Khilafat Library in Rabwa which was one of the projects envisioned by the foundation. So in 1970, the foundation stone of the Khilafat Library was laid by Hazrat Khalifatul Masih III uh, at Rabwa. In 1971, the inauguration ceremony took place. I was present uh, during this uh, ceremony and uh, it has uh, more than 100,000 books now. Uh, I think this is the largest library uh, in the um, uh, outskirts uh, of uh, that particular area. Among various other projects carried out under the auspices of this foundation were construction of a guest house in Rabwa, publication of the book Khukhpat e Mahmud, which contains all the sermons of Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi II in three volumes. Cash prizes were awarded to scholars who submitted their dissertations to the foundation on a wide variety of topics.